Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my video. Uh, what I wanted to do is I want to make a video here for anybody that's searching for how to get out of SVT, supraventricular tachycardia. Uh, so if you're looking for a way of getting out of SVT and you're not on heart medicine, or maybe you are, and you're in SVT and you don't want to go to the hospital and spend a ton of money, what you need to do is get a big bowl or a big uh, ice chest, fill it up with ice water, so put a bunch of ice in there, put a, a load of water in, enough to where you can dunk your head, and you want to get it up to your ears, all right? So when you dunk your head into the bowl, you want to make sure that it's at least covering up to the top of your ears, just like this, or to the back of your ears, just like this, okay? You don't want to have the water just right here. You don't want to have the water right here. You want to have it up to your ears at least, or covering up your ears entirely. And the reason behind that is, what you're doing with this ice water is, you're triggering the vagal nerve. Okay, that's what a Valsalva is. You're triggering a vagal nerve. Now, people will tell you on all these different things, and I tried them all, to put ice, ice packs on your eyeballs, because the vagal nerve runs behind your eyes, runs down your throat, into your heart, right here, okay? And when that vagal nerve, just like a brain freeze, you ever eat ice cream, I'm sure you have, or drink something really cold, ah, oh, you get a brain freeze, right? Hurts really bad. Uh, brain freeze is triggering the vagal nerve. So it hurts your brain, hurts your head, and it will change your heart rate. Okay, but ice didn't work for me on the eyeballs. And the reason why you want to dunk your head all the way in if you can, is it immerses your entire face, your eyes, your face, all of these muscles, all of these nerves in your face, into your head, in that ice water. Hold it in for as long as you can. So take a deep breath, and I know with a tachycardia how uncomfortable it is. You want to take a deep breath, hold your breath, because you don't want to breathe in through your nose. Uh, dunk your head into that ice and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Slow, don't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, you're out, but you've really only been in for three seconds. You want to be in there as long as you can, up to ten seconds. Okay? Pull out, get a washcloth, put it on your face or a towel, dry that face off, dry those eyes off, and see what it does to your heart rate. Okay, you want to make sure you have your finger uh, monitor on for your heart rate pulse pulsometer. Have it on your finger, on your index finger here, and uh, just be checking that. And you should see it come out, should come out immediately. Should come out in those first 10 seconds. If it didn't come out within 10 seconds, you weren't holding your head in long enough, or the water wasn't cold enough. Okay, this is what I experienced in my experience. And you'll see this in the video. I had someone counting 10 seconds in, held my head in there, pulled it out, started out at 144 beats, ended at 170. And I felt the change immediately. I don't know if you want to do this alone, because if you passed out underneath there, that would truly suck. Uh, so I would recommend having someone there with you, just in case. I mean, not like you're going to pass out, but it could very well happen. Uh, but if you're looking for a good way of getting out of an SVT, you don't want to spend $5,000 at the ER to go in and get a dentist put in, which is uncomfortable, you know, to stop your heart and restart it. Uh, if you don't want to deal with oblations or you don't want to deal with uh, medication and maybe you only get this SVT once or twice a year, maybe once a month, maybe it's a food that you've eaten, something like that. Uh, just take this into account and give this a try because it worked for me. It really worked for me. And you're going to see this in the video. It's 146. That's because I just moved around up here. The rest of it, 135. 138, I should say. All this morning is clocking 128. Why was that? See if I can get down to 140 and then I'll go for it. Okay, 38. So hate this part. It's a total sight game. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. It brought me out immediately. I felt it underwater. I'm at 71.